Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, I've had a headache for the past couple of days. I still have it. I've got like vertigo or something so I didn't make a video yesterday. I even missed Sunday fun days so I ended up doing like a different thing and I just called it a uh, Monday bum day because um, I was totally bumming it. Uh, so I don't really have anything prepared for tonight's video but there's a huge bit of information that was released today about the infinite gauntlet is getting some changes uh basically they mentioned that you know uh every every new monster that comes out the gauntlet's getting easier uh we're getting cosmics um so they they say they're going to put cosmics in the gauntlet um i don't know what that means uh they also say that they're going to not let us play it for one day and then normally if you know if you don't play the gauntlet for one day you get moved back a checkpoint well they're going to allow us the ability to pay a gem to keep our progress i personally myself would love to go back in the gauntlet for free uh that allows me to be able to go forward farther to try and make more rewards um which i mean would suck if you can't even get farther because it's too hard uh but i really i i'm kind of skeptical of the idea that they would make it like really hard at Christmas time like the, the time of giving I don't think that you necessarily would give people like a negative update so I'm hoping that it's going to be quality of life update uh, I'm not going to lie the past couple of days uh, using steam and the gauntlet the gauntlet seems broken for me meaning it seems like it's like having a game that you've beat already and that it's really easy to beat now because you know how to beat it. Um, and then getting a second Megaton on top of the first Megaton is just going to make it to where you can run it on cruise control without even needing a Rune Guardian every day and it's free resources. So, I mean, I don't know if that was eventually the end goal anyway, but it would just be for more people. Uh, so it does feel fishy that as soon as I reach that feeling of completion that they're upgrading it. Uh, it also feels weird that as soon as I spend my Stardust, they're upgrading it. Um, I know they don't, I don't think their updates have anything to do with me. I'm just saying that it feels like, it's, it's interesting to me that at the same time of that feeling of completion, it's getting upgraded. So maybe that's what they're going for is they want to just keep it, uh, keep it fun and keep it uh, challenging to where we're actually working for our dust. Uh, instead of me just talking about it, let's go and actually look at the up. I'm on Monster Legends official, uh, and it's the official Monster Legends news. It talks about here, uh, they're gonna be implementing changes. Uh, lots of new cosmic monsters have appeared since the Infinite Gauntlet came out, so it's time the dungeon was updated so that the opponents include these monsters. I'm not sure what when I first read that, I'm thinking all the nodes are going to be different, guys. Meaning from now on, there's going to be three cosmic monsters on the node and not regular mythics on the node. So that it's going to be more appropriate. Uh, meaning like maybe it should have been like that all along. Whereas you would expect, you know, look, it's called the Cosmic Infinite Gauntlet, but it doesn't even have cosmic monsters in it. But yeah, they didn't have cosmic monsters back then. So now they have cosmic monsters. Maybe it's just going to be the Cosmic Infinite Gauntlet where you go in and you fight cosmic monsters, which would make it make more sense, which is what I think is happening. Because if you look at the Legend Dungeon instead of the Hard Dungeon, how the name better fits it now. Like where it's like, oh, instead of calling a dungeon hard that we all hit auto on, you call it a Legend Dungeon. We still hit auto on it, but at least the name fits now to where as I look at it and I'm looking at, you know, a cosmic infinite gauntlet and it's full of cosmics now so that'll make more sense to me i don't understand how the stat boost would work uh considering that cosmics have higher stats than regular mythics but the regular mythics in the gauntlet are scaled up in level wise anyway so like if you scaled cosmics up you'd be talking about 50k speed monsters and such um is that how they're going to do it maybe uh, when it comes to things like strength, if you're going to scale the strength up on a monster, I really don't care about it because, I mean, the plain mythics already OTK pretty much anything. So, like, the idea is not to get hit. Just making them stronger cosmics isn't going to change that ideology. It's still going to be trying to lock down the gauntlet so that you don't get hit. Um, that's going to be the only way to get farther. Uh, and it says on the... Uh, to implement the changes, the Infinite Gauntlet will be deactivated for all players for one day, 1 a.m. to night, uh, the 22nd, and will return on the 23rd, which is the day before Christmas Eve for me. Um, so I'm guessing just tomorrow's Gauntlet won't exist for me. Uh, and then it says, 
The year is almost over, but as you know, we never stop. We will be introducing some changes to the Infinite Gauntlet to keep it updated because since we launched this new feature, a lot of monsters have been joining our ranks and they want to be part of the fun. Cosmic monsters will be added to the second half of the Gauntlet, so make sure your team is ready. When, when I think of second half, I think, you know, you got 56 nodes. One of two things is happening here. You're going to add nodes after 56, and that's going to be the second half, and it's going to be full of cosmics. Or B, the second half is anything after, you know, 50, 58, or 28 eighth nodes. So basically 29th and, you know, so on would be the second half of the gauntlet. I'm really hoping it's uh, node 57 plus. That, that sounds exciting to me. Uh, if you told me, like, that's what I'm waking up to on Christmas Eve as the gauntlet or that's what I get to do on Christmas Eve is the gauntlet has an extra, you know, 40 nodes after 56. I, my mind would be blown. I, I would be like, wow, let's, let's play some Monster Legends. Um, the cost of keeping progress will be one gem. As always, never a dull moment here in Monster Legends. That is a big time lie. There are tons and tons and tons of dull moments in Monster Legends. So whoever wrote that line, go ahead and slap them for me. And that was four hours ago from the time that I'm making this video. Uh, now what I've been doing uh, with my headache is I've been playing my... Everyone always asks me to show content uh, of you know the tasks that I do. This is the task that I'm doing. Uh, you need to reach level 150, and you need to do it in 21 days. Uh, after level, like, 80, it's pretty crazy to get a level up. Uh, I'm broke. Every two hours, I get 120k now. Uh, and you start out where every two hours, you only get, like, 5k. And then you have to do these quests that unlock these things. So each quest that you do increases your income by 5k. Um and how you do the quests is you make these like monopoly bucks and then how you get the monopoly bucks is from doing tasks. Therefore, what that means is sure, there are some levels where you could auto spend them all day, but if you're not doing it on task or you're not doing your tasks, you're not making the bucks, which means you're not increasing your income, which means as soon as you go broke, you are done on this game. So the idea for me anyway is to try and actively play the game like they're going to give me 5,500 gems for doing this task so I'm committed I'm trying to actually do it um, all these little backgrounds back here you get to upgrade them like they'll give you that's what the quests actually do like none of that stuff was back there when I started and then I get to progress to I guess ancient Greece which is where I'm at now and I haven't done any of the quests like if you look back here behind there everything's broke down well if you do the quest you would you would like it would all look fancy by the time it was done but that's what's going on on my tasks and then these little house bonuses down here basically mean like whenever you would uh do a quest that normally would pay you bucks those bucks get multiplied for each one of those green houses you got down there up to five so you can get your bonus multiplied a bunch but you have to actually spin and bet money to get those things filled up anyway and then every day they reset um, so yeah, like there was just an event, uh, that we had for three days on this game, a Christmas event where I was in a team and our team finished first. And I really thought we were going to get something good because it took three days and they only gave me a million coins and I spent those million coins in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know if we're going to make it to 150. I hope we do. We only got 31 levels to go. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be in the final stretch, I would guess, but each level is super hard now, and I'm running out of time. I've been playing it for, you know, I think 10 days, um, so I'm, I'm past halfway, and I, yeah, it's definitely, like, it's, I need some wins to happen or something. All right, so that's what's going on in Monster Legends, for me anyway. Uh, I ended up waking up in the middle of the night to do a maze collect and forgot all about Gold Fever, and I collected my gold like an hour before midnight so I literally started this gold fever with no gold at all uh, and it's still looking like there might be a chance that I can get into the top 5k because every time I collect gold I'm passing just a couple of players uh, so I'm really hoping that I get into the top 5k with no pre-collected gold if that's so then I will be so happy that I can just play the game freely and make top 5k
which I do not know if it's possible yet. I'm going to find out. Uh, I did get the Super Fox, which is what I'm calling it. I call it the Super, like an S, the Super Fox. Uh, I did get it from the limited time path, um, and then I believe there's supposed to be another limited time path coming uh, that will have Christmas chests on it, and then you will wait till the 30% discount and spend your whatever maze coins you have then to try and get those chests. I'm guessing I will only need 400 maze coins. Uh, currently, I am finally trying to hatch my Blas, and I'm trying to hatch the quest monster. Now that my hatchery is free because I don't need maze coins very much, I am going to try and get some of these Christmas monsters uh, hatched so that I can complete the books. Um, I'm not even sure which ones I need, uh, but I will start with one at a time. Looks like Flirty or Frostbite will work. I'm pretty sure I got both of those. I don't know what Flirty's uh, type is, but there's Frostbite. We'll use one. All right, so Frostbite is on there, um, and it was the Flirty was the other one. Let me see where how do where I find Flirty. I'll just scroll through them and look. I know that I have them all in egg form. There he is, except for uh, the Toy Master. I or actually, I think I got them all from doing the Christmas, the Christmas cards. Which, by the way. I'm on round two of the Christmas card, and if I can somehow manage to get this Thundeer card completed, I will have a rank three Thundeer, potentially. I don't think he's going to be, you know, like, that great, because, like, even in Grandmaster Duels, everyone and their mom has a rag, so, like, I don't really know what, <laughs> there's no point to it, like... But at least I didn't have to, you know, get a second stupid relic. I'll be able to get a rank 3 Thundeer. I got a rank 2 Santa. I now have a rank 1 with enough cells. Or I, I now have another egg in storage with enough cells to rank 1 a level 4 Santa to use for wars and trick plays in PvP or human versus human. Um, pretty much that's all that's going on. Uh, this is a nice tank, but uh, it's just a little outside my price range. I'm too rogue for these things. Um, and then this is the the last PvP challenge of the season. I will be trying to top 50. I know it doesn't look like it yet, um, but I will be trying to at least get the avatar. Uh, and it looks like nobody's done anything about the auto-clicker reaper Um I mean, like, I don't have any proof of it, but I'm telling you right now, like, when I did this event, this guy cheated. Like, I don't know how he's doing it. Um, my guess is if I was going to do it, I could cheat too. I would just use a mouse recorder. You can download them on Google. Uh, and when you do a PvP, it's so simple on how to do it. Like, let's say I was to go in here because um, I need an egg anyway. So let's say I, I change this chick out for... Well, she's on my defense team. Let's change her out. All right, so say you have your auto clicker set, um, or not your auto clicker, your mouse recorder. Um, you won't hit it yet. You would do it at the end of the fight. Um, so basically, all that would be recorded, but you would do it at the end. All right, so when the end of the fight comes, that's the only time when buttons actually need clicked is from the end of a match to the beginning of a new match. So assume you had a team set that was on uh, a team to auto, like say you had a Vanos with strength runes and you had like double mega taunt and you were just gonna hit the auto button. Every time a fight ends, like right now, the game would just sit here and wait you would set your auto clicker to wait two minutes before it would start clicking your, or your mouse recorder two minutes before it would repeat the recording. And the recording would be hit the X button to enter, exit the fight, hit the collect button to collect an egg. If you didn't have it or if your egg was already full, the collect still would have worked. The X button would have come up in the top left corner. All of those things would have been clicked. So I'll just run through one more since it didn't work because I already had an egg. So your auto button would be going for 
I would say you would set it for a minute and a half would seem like a good good time. And then basically every one minute and a half, your mouse recorder is going to repeat the recording that you programmed. And it would be like if I had the mouse recorder right this second, I would hit record and I would hit this X button while it's recording. Then I would hit this collect button. While it's still recording, I would hit this back button. While it's still recording, I would hit this discard button. While it's still recording, I would hit this fight button. And there would be one more button I would hit bef after that fight button, which would be the yes, I would accept if I had a shield, I wanted to enter combat. Why? Because even if you didn't have a shield, it wouldn't matter if you clicked where the button was that said enter with a shield. And then you would click the fight button while recording, and then you would click where manual is to auto, and that's it. And then you would save that recording. And then you would just put a time elapse in between that recording for a minute and a half. That's, what's, that's what I believe that Reaper is doing. And he's doing it when he doesn't play. Meaning when he's playing, he's obviously not doing that. He's doing his PvPs and his playing. And then when he's not playing, he's doing that. And he's just staying wherever he needs to be to be close to first or second or third. So that way he doesn't look so obvious that he's doing it and make 20,000 points in a week. That's why I'm not participating in the PvP challenges. So until somebody does something about that, like put some buttons in there to where you can't just record a little 30 second or less, like a 10 second recording and then lap it over every minute and a half. And it doesn't matter if you win or lose, the recording is gonna do the fight for you. It's gonna go into the next one and it's gonna hit auto and that's it. And you can do that while you're sleeping. That's ridiculous to me. It's it makes it completely pointless. Um, I don't know why it's that easy to be done. I mean, I guess they figure that, you know, oh, who's going to do that? I don't know. If you want to catch those cheaters, just go look for repetitious clicks. Meaning if you're someone who works for the game, all you have to do is check in accounts of clicks. Okay? If every time somebody clicks their phone or clicks anywhere in your game, it should register as an X and Y coordinate on the game has been pressed. If they're pressing in the exact same spot every five minutes, bro, that's not a human. Like, I... Ugh. SP doesn't care, so that's why I don't participate in the PvP challenge to try and get first anymore. Anyway, I do want to get the Avatar. This defense is becoming more and more and more everywhere. I ran it for a while. I still run it now. Um, I don't think it matters what rank your chuckle is. I don't think it matters what runes are on. As long as your vampire is fast, you have a good team. As long as your chuckle has the anticipation, or I mean the uh, immune control SC, you have a decent team here. Bomb is definitely better than Shelly because he has Nur. Uh, what I've been doing is I just punch through the chuckle. I'm abusing a bug though with this team. Uh, trait disabled never misses even if you're blind. As you can see, my other two guys are blind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to her let her take an extra turn i really don't care at all what she does and then i'm going to cycle my extra turns and let her take another extra turn i don't really care what she does uh and now when i total blind i will have the ability to recycle all of my moves next turn i'm gonna go ahead and total blind uh vampira i guess all right now that my vampira is blinded i'm going to go ahead and trait disable here uh i was not Expecting the purr to land too. Uh, basically, you have a 50-50 chance if the purr lands, but you have a 100% chance if the trait disable lands. The reason why I was doing the trait disable though is so that I, my blind Linworm doesn't have to use his turn. He can just turn transfer to Vampira, and I don't trigger a Chuckle. And Chuckles, all of Chuckles' good moves deal damage, which means if you total blind Chuckle, the best thing Chuckle can do besides charge is cast regeneration on the team, which means I'm about to lock down everybody on the opponent's team with two total blind cycles here. And not to mention she's gonna die because she can't handle it. And then since I've cycled, I can just go right back to cycling again. Total blinded uh, here. Um, technically, I can just let this chick die. Uh, but my other dude is blinded and dotted, so I'm going to go for uh, just a random baby. I still haven't even changed the move on my Linworm from where I was doing uh, friendlies tonight. Um, it's not the same move set I like to use for PvP. But yeah, as you can see, that's the easiest way that I know of to take down these teams. Um, 
really doesn't matter how OP their runes are or whatever. But then again, like if they patch that to where trait disable misses, it would be a whole different story. Uh, I would find a different way to win. The point is I always find a way to win. But yeah, so that's that's what's going on. I will eventually uh, off camera grind out some more. I want it, like I just told you guys, I want to get to that uh, avatar before the three days is up, and I don't want to waste no time. So when this video is over, I'll probably put some work in on it, uh, and I just try to space the work out for three days. That's the best idea that I have. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on on my channel. Um, I am going to be working towards ranking Roscula, like I told you guys I would, but I'm going to hold off on ranking anything. I only have uh, two, 2k Stardust, basically, and I don't know what's about to happen in the Gauntlet. So assuming something crazy happens and I need to rank some other monster that's now good that didn't used to be good before, I will have that Stardust to do so. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to blow it all. But the next monster on my ranking list is Roscula. I would rather rank Roscula than the new fox that's coming out. Not that I think there's anything wrong with the new fox. I think the new fox is an amazing monster. I just like the relics better on Roscula than I do on the Immune to Blind monster. Uh, they're both uh, weak to deny anyway. Uh, neither one of them have Harden like Vanos. But like I was saying, uh, you can wear better relics, in my opinion, on Roscula. And Roscula has the ability to purr, which means it can do more than just be your boring old Pierce monster. So anyway, guys, that's what's going on on my channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video, uh, and then the day after that, maybe we will make a video showing the new gauntlet, so stay tuned for that. Later!